Okay, welcome to the 4 a.m. Club. Today we're gonna to be talking about the number one fastest car in the world. Dude, I'm pumped. I have actually never heard of this car before. I have heard of a model of it, and I think most car enthusiasts have, but I didn't know about this specific like, model. Like if you watch Top Gear, you'll you'll know what this is. You would know what this is. Yeah, you would know what th this is. So like Tanner's gonna know what this is. You think? Oh yeah. yeah. Interesting. Dude, I, we need to get Tanner on here because he knows so much about cars. Yeah. Too bad he lives. Tanner, shout yeah, out. We should give him a call. Dude, give you live so him. far away. Come, stop on. being in Brazil or wherever you are and get over here. I'm just kidding. Anyway. Anyways, so the car is called the Koenigsegg Jesco Absolute. I'm probably butchering Wait, how you pronounce it. Say it one more time. Koenigsegg Jesco Absolute. It looks like you just a bunch of random words. It uh, pretty much did. It uh, pretty much did. The Kony is like, it's, I mean, if you play Need for Speed. Oh, the game, actually. You know, I'm always the SUVs. No wonder I never got away. <laughs> uh, so, uh, uh, and anyways, but okay, so where is this? Do you know where this car's manufactured? Um, it's Swedish manufactured. Um, it actually has a 5.0 liter twin turbo V8. Wow. Interesting. Wait, how do you know how heavy it is? Because, um, like, I know, isn't the Lotus super, like, you know the Lotus, right? The Lotus is tiny, isn't yeah. It's tiny and really small, so it can go faster. Mm -hmm. So wouldn't you think that it would be faster than the car? I mean, it depends on the engine size and the horsepower. So this, this car specifically has 1,600 horsepower. I know. 1,600? <laughs> yeah. 1,600 horsepower. Um, when it's run on E85 biofuel, which I'm not going to pretend like I know what that means. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to, I'm going to search it up so I can, so I can be with you here. What do you know how many there are in the world? It's a, it's definitely an interesting car. Um, I've never, oh my gosh, dude, there's only, only 125 units worldwide. That's not very many. Or, or does that seem like? Let's see. They only, it says here that they only do 40 to 50 units um, each year. No way. Well, I mean, if you, if you are one of those 50 people a year, you're probably Mark Cuban yeah. or, or someone rich, you know, Shaq. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Anyways. It's a, it's a cool car. I think it's primarily a track car. This is specifically to go fast. I, I mean, mean, fastest car in the world. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. So the speed is 330 miles per hour. Claim. That's what that's they claimed. Just, yeah, maybe I'll. That seems low, actually, for the fast. 330? 330. I've gone that fast on Need for Speed. Okay. That's different. That is different. All 330 right. miles per hour. That would be terrifying. You can't tell me that wouldn't be. I mean, What's the what's the fastest you've gone in a car? Uh, probably 110. 110. Yeah. Well, because I'm on like the freeway and I was trying to baptize the car. You know that you know that phrase, right? <laughs> uh. Anyways, so you got a clip for us today? Yeah. Let's uh let's pull it up. So Sweet. if you take a look at the screen. <laughs> to pop out of Christian von Koenigsegg's sizable head. Only 125 will ever be made, costing around 2.3 million pounds each. He uses a 5.1 litre twin turbo flat plane crank V8. He produces 1,578 brake horsepower and 1,106 pounds feet of torque to rev from idle to eight and a half thousand rpm in 0.2 seconds keep it pinned my son keep it pinned jack 0 to 62 takes around two and a half seconds and theoretically the top speed on this slightly softer slippier absolute version it's the scary side of 310 miles an hour. 310! I say theoretical, because no one's had the brass balls or the space to hit it yet. But they will. 
I think I need a lie down. But then again, I think it looks decent. It, no, it looks great. It actually kind of looks like, um, yeah, I was going to say most like most fast sport cars, sports cars look very similar. Cause I mean, the aerodynamic of it is, is going to be the same. Just so much downward pressure that it just grips the track so well. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it looks really good. Dude, it did not look like he was going that fast. Those doors, look at those doors. Reminds me of like the Pagani yeah. Hu Huayra. Yeah. Dude, how much is the, how, what's the MSRP? I don't know the MSRP, but I just looked it up. I want you to guess how expensive these cars are. Five. What? There is no, I've seen cars go for like ridiculous amount. Um, let's see, two million. Is it only two million? I say only, but it's three million. Three million. Yeah. That's the entire what? production run sold out in 2022, despite a $3 million price tag on each car. I mean, $3 million. That's a lot for a car. Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, that's more, I mean, it is the fastest car in the world, but that's most people. I mean, most people will never make $3 million in their entire life. <laughs> <laughs> then their entire life they will not make 300 million yeah, that's very true. Yeah. or three million dollars it's an expensive car but especially if you're just driving it around a track yeah, if if you're buying it to drive it around a track yeah it's just a toy yeah i wonder what i want to meet someone well i guess that probably never happened but i want to meet someone that owns that car oh wow that guy does right there oh it's tiny oh wow so this isn't a new car this car's been around for a while Wow. Actually, it doesn't. Yeah. Is this always been the fastest car? I mean, everyone would think it's a Bugatti, which That's Bugatti right, yeah. definitely keeps up. But guess how much a Bugatti is? Three million. Yeah. Uh, pretty 3.3 million goes up to 3.9 million. I think Bugatti is more of like a, oh, I have a Bugatti. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I guess this car can be considered that. I mean. I think there's a difference between people that want to flex and people that just like cars. Like they just love cars and that's their thing. And they love how fast they can go. Like just the feeling. Well, some people are just going to keep them in their garage and love it and pet it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my uncle's like that. He loves his, like he, I don't, my uncle, he is Tanner's dad actually. So Tanner, shout out. But he, he's not somebody that's like the flex. Like he doesn't flex on people, but he just loves cars. Yeah. Like you yeah. should, every t-shirt he ever wears, it's a car shirt. Like he just loves them. You know, love you know who I'm talking about. Love it. I love cars. My name's Car Son. So, <laughs> car G. yeah, Car G, man. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about is, uh, the number one fastest car, the street legal fastest car. Cause, oh, so cause that's, that's not, not street legal? nope, so that's not street legal. You, no. So you, how do you get what you have to tow it to the track? Maybe. Apparently. I mean, I don't know how else you'd get it there. Okay. Oh, <laughs> let's go. All right. What is the fastest street legal car in the world? So, according to 2020. Thanks for joining. Like and subscribe if you're new, which most people are probably new because this is a new channel. Yep. Deal. We'll see you guys later. Let's go game, dude. Nice.